Amen. We're going to go ahead and open up tonight. Amen. And how many ready to worship the Lord tonight? Amen. Praise the Lord. Y'all have to forgive me. I know I'm dressed a little down to open up this service tonight, but we've been working over, preparing some of the ladies in the church uh, a delicious meal that all of you are invited to, uh, to be a part of tonight. Amen. It's going to uh, go to raise funds for our mission trip coming up in October to Honduras. Amen. But we are honored to uh, be able to host uh, the Epps Family 5th Anniversary Concert celebrating 51 continuous years in gospel music. Amen. Can you give the Lord a mighty hand? Good to see all of you in the house of the Lord tonight. We encourage you to just take the breaks off, worship the Lord, because how many knows that's what it's all about? We've come to lift up the name of Jesus tonight. Amen in spirit and in truth. So if you will, stand to your feet and just join hands with your neighbor. We're going to open up with a word of prayer tonight and we're just going to welcome the Holy Spirit in our midst tonight. Let's pray. Father, we come to you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, and we thank you, Lord, for another opportunity, God, to come together in your house, Lord, to worship you, to lift you up, to exalt your name, God. It's all about you tonight, Lord. And Father, we pray, God, that you would have your will and your way in the service, God. Breathe the in a mighty way, God, tonight, Lord, as the praises go up, God, I pray that your presence, God, will feel this place, God, tonight, Lord, save, heal, deliver, God, encourage, strengthen, restore, God, I pray tonight, Father, and Lord, we'll be sure and careful to give you all the praise and all the glory, God, I just pray, God, there'll be a fresh anointing, God, in this house tonight, Lord, upon every singer, God, every musician, God, Lord, use them for your glory, I pray, help us, God, to enter in, God, not to be show, but God, to be a time of worship, a time of praise, God, I pray tonight, Lord, and we, we just thank you, Lord, for your mercy, your grace, and your faithfulness, God, for you have been good and faithful throughout all of these years, God, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Give Brother Perry tonight the hand as he comes to this time. Amen. Oh, God, God, we serve. I'm glad that you know Jesus tonight. Can I pray if you don't know
Got one more song I want to do tonight and uh, just praise God for the, His love and for His mercy and grace. Praise God. I don't know about you, but I'd rather be in church than any other place, home, home, bar, the hospital, or whatever the devil may have you trying to think that you ought to be. I'd rather be in the house of God. Amen. Praise God. This last song that I'm going to do tonight. Glory to God. Got a great message in it. Amen. You know, one of these days we're going to leave everything behind on this earth when we go to meet Jesus. Amen. I'm so glad I won't have to worry about anything on this earth anymore. <laughs>
I told her a little while ago I was a little hoarse. She said it's better than being the donkey I usually am. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> but anyhow, you about ready, brother? Now these folks ain't no stranger right here. I know that. I'm not here to drive the assembly because they are members here. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And uh, and uh, but uh, I've known well. I've known Christie's. I've known Christy so long I could put her up on my shoulders and flip her over backwards like that. She was about 10, maybe 9. She was young anyway. And she was as mean then as she is now. But I learned to love her anyhow. But she got a good husband anyhow. Make welcome if you would. Dwayne, Christy, and Brittany. Caitlin, you singing tonight too? And Caitlin, the bride.
song here talks about a Savior. How many of you know there's a Savior tonight? I was a preacher's kid, so luckily I didn't get out of the world like some people did or know it as some people did, but he was just as real a Savior to me as he was the alcoholic, the drug addict, the prostitute.
we uh, cherish this, this time every year. We uh, do this for our dad. It's been five years that we lost the man. But you know, uh, well, I don't say we lost him because we know where he's at. So if you lose something, you don't know where they're at, but we know where he's at. But um, I guess I'm going to introduce you to uh, This is really like our second time singing as a group. So I am tickled pink. Blue. <laughs> I am tickled, tickled so much. Uh, it's an honor to have my family. You know, I've sung with my family for many years. Loved it. Missed it. But it's an honor to have my family with me on stage. And, um, and they are nervous. I'm nervous. But we're nervous together. But um, I'm going to do just a real quick uh, one beside me. I'm going to start with her. She's beside me. This is my baby. My meanie me. Everybody says. But this is um, my baby daughter, Caitlin, and this is her first time singing. So I'm <laughs> and next to, next to her, next door, but next to her is my oldest. She's driving. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> she didn't finish the sentence. She's driving us crazy. Yeah. But this is our oldest daughter. This is Brittany. Brittany Fryer. Um, I'm very proud of them. Um, they both came back from camp. This one went to camp with um, next group coming up. And she is so excited. And I think she's talked her sister to go next year with her. So they are so excited about that. And um, Brittany got back from camp yesterday as well. And and I'm so proud of her and Willie. Um, they had a baptism there at the church. And um, she said, Mom, I get baptized. I was like, what? You didn't call me. Let me know. But um, I'm so proud of her and Willie. They got baptized, you know. And, and this, you know, that just says it all. They got baptized. And I'm so glad I, uh, we have Christian kids. And I'm proud of them. I love them. But um, over on the far end. It's my lovely, sweet, my best friend, my husband of almost 17 years, Mr. Dwayne Fryer. And my name, what is up? But my name is Christy, we make up the Fryer family.
pastor made a comment in the sermon uh, just this past week. He said, God didn't come to make you happy. He came to give you joy. Right. Amen. If he made us happy, he'd have to give us everything we ever wanted. That's right. Most of us will be happy until we got it. How many of you glad you got joy tonight? Amen. We're going to slow it down just a little bit. And uh, I think some of y'all just heard the showerings. <laughs> Victoria Shire wrote the song. And uh, we fell in love with it the first time we ever heard it. Talks about having faith. And without faith, it's impossible to please God. Amen. You need healing, it's only by faith. You need salvation, it's only by faith. And uh, it's been about probably 11 years ago. I was I had asthma from a child up and couldn't be a normal little boy. I couldn't play sports. Couldn't run. I'd be out of breath. I lived off of, of the inhaler. Had it all over the house. And we were in a revival service one night and during the altar service, the evangelist said, anybody need healing, raise your hand. My faith said, <clears throat> haven't had an asthma attack since. Yeah. I haven't seen an inhaler since that night. I've been able to play sports, run, jump on a trampoline, do all kinds of stuff.
the Lord.
hours off at school or whatever, you know. I get in my car, that's my jam time. I put that music in. And there's one time I was um, just feeling all blue. Nobody gets feels blue, do they? You know, I was just feeling all, oh me, oh my. But you know, um, was, I put this CD in and I had church in my car. But you know, whatever situation it is, He loves us and He's faithful. And He answers our prayers. Maybe not on our time, but in His time. And I'm so glad that I love Him. And I... It's time to drive along, man.
Hold your mic a second there, Brittany. Can you take it back to the same verse? I can play it. If you lost here tonight, you need to know Jesus. And I'll tell you. If you're here tonight and you even think that you might be lost, you need to come to know Jesus. Amen. All, simply, all you got to simply do is just do that simple little thing that she just sung about. Amen. And say, please forgive me. Sometimes I have to say that on how many times a day. But I'm thankful that he's a gracious God. I'm thankful that he's a God that cares about us. That loves us no matter what. Unconditionally. No matter what we've done, he loves us. No matter what we do, he loves us. But he wants to forgive us, amen. And it takes that step of faith of saying, God, please forgive me. Please forgive me. ashamed of if you're here tonight and you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and your Savior. It will be more of a shame for you to leave the same way that you came in. Amen. And I promise you if you walk out take a step of faith to come down here to this altar. Somebody will step out with you and come with you. You won't come by yourself. One of us will come pray with you. Somebody in this church will come with you. They come.
Dude, great. Right <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Praise the Lord. Now I'm going to ask right now, as they make their way on up here, now they brought a whole crowd of them with you, uh, with them rather. Everybody that come from our whole church now, which is in Augusta, Georgia, uh, from Bible Deliverance Temple, would you stand tonight? Tonight that y'all come. Uh, so many good friends that I haven't seen in a while, haven't talked to in a while. Uh, my, uh, my, I call him my mentor, and I know he probably don't like to claim me every once in a while anyway. But uh, I call him my mentor because he is the one that I studied under when God called me uh, to preach. They're here all the way from, from Flat Rock, North Carolina. Uh, brother, uh, brother Pat, uh, brother, well, he's pastor too.
you are. But he loves you way too much to leave you that way. That old song we sang years ago, he's still working on me's truth. Glory, I feel him in this house.
was saying, he said, Kelly, when you were just a young man, I preached a revival in that church. And I don't believe it looked as nice as it did now. I wrote this song a while back and had my mom in mind. She's going to be with the Lord.
And I know they were having fun there at Church of God Camp Brand and Malden, and, and I believe lives were changed there, and thank God for it, amen. And I'm glad you're here tonight and let God change you. God's a good God. Whatever you're dealing with, whatever you, and I'm serious if I mess this up because my wife's already rolled her eyes at me twice. I half missed Rick up on his last song and he did the other half. But we also believe in giving credit to whom credit is due. <laughs> but y'all just forgive me and uh, we all get through it. But whatever you face, this is a song I like. It's another old song. I like the old one. We like the new one. We like a little bit all of it. We do a little bit all of it. And uh, then two or three original ones that, that uh, we've done. And, one my wife will bless you with a little bit that she wrote. But this is the old one. It would just be a, a miss for, for remiss, rather, not a miss, but remiss for not singing it. It says he'll roll you over the tide. Amen. Yeah.
Boston Kingdom, my church used to rent every year. Last time I went, it been a few years, I was a grown man. My dad-in-law said I was lost at that time as a ball in high weeds. Y'all figured that out. But I came to camp and I was a preacher's kid like a brother testified earlier. Because I already testified. I'm glad I was a preacher's kid. I didn't get all that trouble. I was a preacher's kid and I promise you I got everything I could get into. <laughs> I ain't bragging about it, it's just a fact that men I preach a God of restoration if I didn't, I couldn't sit here tonight. But the last time I was there, the teenage boy said, Brother McKnight talking to my dad. And the associate pastor said, Why don't y'all let Kelly be our counselor tonight? He was just up for the evening and it'd be nice. Give y'all a break. I had Carly Duval and I had uh, Roy Beach and a few of those, you can imagine who all I had for those from our church. They had double doors to their cabin and I stretched my bed, rolled that roadway bed right there across them two doors. Got them young and straight. They thought he was going to pull something over on me. About two o'clock in the morning, on the window of the door, my dad said, Kevin, Kevin, do you know where your boys are? I said, yeah, they're in the room. <laughs> he said, move your bed so we can get in, son. <laughs> I moved my bed, he shined the light around, turned the lights on, there wasn't a human in there. I forgot about the other four windows in that place. <laughs> my last fond memory of Possum King, I can't remember what they called that camera. Remember that slide for your life screwed in me, whatever that thing was, I remember that. But boy, I remember some powerful services too. Amen. You can't so good out. We had a, one year my dad was wise. He had an independent Baptist preacher to preach one of the nights at the Pentecostal Homeless Church campground for the youth camp. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. The Holy Ghost got on him right in the middle. He was preaching the message on stomping out the snakes. He was raised on the tobacco farm and his daddy used to make him stomp out the snakes before they could start chewing the tobacco for the time. And one day he got in a hurry and his daddy said, Hershey, you sure you stepped them all? I said, yes sir, I did. I stomped them all. They all gone. He said, well, climb under that one there and show me. He said, well, let me stomp one more time. That's what we need to do in our lives sometime. Amen. But as he began to preach that, the Holy Ghost got on him. He had never seen a bad day. He just began to run, began to speak. He took off running in the woods. <laughs> The ranger had to go find him. Don't you know that was a story to tell when you got pet? <laughs> Ain't never said nobody for the Holy Ghost running, speaking an unknown dumb, but I found him. He wanted to play for the U.S. Generals when they had that short, that National Football League for a while, Pastor. Number of successful churches, and he's going to be with the Lord. It's a great evangelist. Five different pastors I know of. One of them, a big leader, and, and, and he testified by that sometimes wants to was saved right in youth camp, and our youth camp became one of the least past some of the best churches in the singles of God, and others in the church of God, and others good old independent. We had some good old badness, take me into it. All the next mixture with a lot of fond memories of camp, amen. The greatest thing is to understand praise and worship, and, and that's what we always want to be. You can tell right now we're not no professional group. We're just a church group that worships and loves the Lord. And we get a chance, and we were proud to come share homecoming with our brothers and sisters in the Lord and their anniversary. But I'm going to take just a moment and introduce you to the group. I'm going to be real quick about it. Don't clap to the end, because if you clap more for one, then you do the whole one. won't hear nothing about it all the way home. Amen. So I'm going to start on the far end, bam, bam, back on the drums, that's the bird right, and that's our youngest member of the group, and on the bass, John Stevens, and this is his dad that just sang the tenor a moment ago, Richard Stevens, they're the singers, well, we sing whatever parts left open to be on, y'all can tell that too, can't you? Amen. Bird's sister, Dory, with us, and then on the far end, uh, Monroe Bubba again, yes, and his wife Charlotte again is our associate pastor, and that lovely lady in the middle is my wife, and I'm Kevin McKnight, that's all restoration praise, we're glad to be in our name. got the Holy Ghost one night and meeting and came back and told the congregation they didn't believe in tongues and so they voted him out. 
<laughs> I got that one. They did everything except speak tongues. They ran, they ran to beaches, they did, I mean, they had a church go to meet. They put a lot of homeless folks to shame as far as demonstrably worshiping the Lord. It's more than about emotionalism, but hey, I'm going to be honest with you, I like a little emotionalism. Yes. Amen. Don't want no wildfire because if you got wildfire and you got something you think you got that you really don't have, you'll be like the seven sons of Steve, but time you tackle the devil, you end up beating it naked. Amen. So so I want you to have real fire. But real fire make you move. When you had an encounter with 